Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to do another peer review. Today we have Nikki Zamber. This is one that my fellow colleague and friend uh, Dan McCuller made in, and put his uh, name on the, on, on the name of the beer. So that's pretty cool. I guess it's pretty good. They they made it back a while ago, and um, I think I had it uh, when he first made it, and um, now I'm going to try it again um, after it's been uh, conditioning in the bottle for a while. So let me give you, give you the rundown on the recipe. Uh, this is an all-grain five-gallon batch. It was a 60-minute boil. He got 75% efficiency. And he used uh, 60% uh, two-row U.S., 30% Maris Otter Pale U.K., which is a three per, or three-degree Levabon, 10% uh, uh, Caramel Crystal 60, which is uh, 60 on the SRM. So a total of six, seven, eight, nine, ten pounds. And then the hop schedule was an ounce of Cascade at 60, half ounce of Centennial at 30, and a half a Centennial at 2 minutes. He used a Y East American Ale 1056, which is pretty general. So, yeah, cool, man. Get that out of the way so I can see myself talking. Cool. So here we're going to go. I got myself uh, just regular... Uh, piney IPA type glass. This is an amber, so we're gonna crack it open and see what happens. Cheers! So we got a good hiss. I see some little bit of smoky. That looks good. Oh, it's got. I remember the smell. <laughs> awesome. So let's go ahead and pour her up. So it looks like I have to go a little aggressive on the pour. It is bottle condition, so I'm going to take my time when I get towards the end. And keep the slop in the bottle. And look there, it looks very nice. Nice brown, uh, kind of a caramel uh, copper color. It is a little hazy with it. It's probably chill haze from... Uh, it was very warm earlier today. Um... And I did put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. So, yeah, it's got a great color. Head on it, half a pinky or a full pinky, depending on how you're looking at it. Tight uh, bubbles on it. Ah, oh, the malt. Very heavy in the malt. I can smell the hot presence in there. Got some uh, kind of a back fruit to it, dark fruit. You can tell the hot presence if you look. Uh, you look at the lacing it leaves behind; it's very thick. Doesn't smell hot at all, and you can you can smell that hot presence. Yeah, dark fruits. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, Nikki. It's really mellowed. I remember tasting this before. It's got a nice, uh, nice mild bite that just kind of layers itself on the back of your tongue as you swallow it. And as it... Uh, matures in your mouth as it envelops your mouth and you get air in there you can feel it on the sides of your tongue very nice malt presence throughout the mouth i mean it's uh it's almost like raisins almost really plummy taste raisins it's carbonated i mean i'm belching a bit here 
There's a there's a taste in there and trying to figure it out. Hold on. Raisins. Kind of a kind of a, a wood taste to it in, in a way. It's a, it's a good taste to it. It um, complements. It's um, it, it's it's part of the hop profile, but it uh, I'm trying to think of a good description for this. I'm not good at the descriptors on uh, uh, bitterness profile when it's kind of got a, a wood kind of a it's really not wood either. I mean, you get the you get the the darker fruit taste out of this. It's got a it's the, um, the malt and the roast from the Crystal 60, I'll bet. I guess that's what's coming through. But yeah. I don't think I've ever had a bad beer from you, Dan. That's that's awesome. And yeah. Nikki, be proud of your hubby. <laughs> Nikki, be proud. Very nice. Such great friends I have. We trade beers. It's awesome. Love the color, too. I don't even really want to rate this because you're a friend, but... <laughs> I didn't rate your last one. I, I watched the video. I'm like, fuck, I didn't even freaking rate it. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah, Nikki Zamber really came out. I want you to do this one again, too. This came out to, I think, was it 5.4%? Let me take a look here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 5.4% 5, 5 ABV, 187 calories per 12 ounce. Bitterness units was a 37.1 IBU, uh, 9.7 SRM. Uh, original gravity was 1056 and the final gravity was 1014. Yeah, this came out. Came, little, this came. This came. This awesomely came out good. Awesome. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Oh, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. I'll come back and give uh, give my final thoughts on it. Probably can hear the thunder outside. Hopefully, we can get some rain. Yeah. All right, guys. See you in a moment. <laughs> Cool guys, I've had a little bit of time to sip on it just a little bit. Ran upstairs, did some stuff, going to warm up just a little bit. Um, it's retained that that um, that multi head on it. This you know the small multi head on it. <laughs> um, think the think the balance of the um, the malt. And um, the low IBU and uh, it's hard to come up with words with the when you're doing a rate. Um, not like uh, Christian Brewbear. <laughs> that guy can just like and it's awesome. Ta da! Um, it. Uh, it is a very good beer. It's one of those beers that you can just sit down and uh, you, you can chew on. It's not too high in the ABV where it's still in sessionable category for me. 5.4% is nothing for me. Uh, I'm used to, you know, 6.5 and higher. Um, but yeah, it. Uh, uh, I absolutely love the color. I love the. I love the uh, the malt. I love the. I love the hop profile. It's in here. I think the only thing that's lacking, if anything, 
um, would probably be just a little bit more effervescence, more uh, more carbonation. I think since Dan, you're going um, you go into the kegging system, I think you're going to find a change in this. And I think if you make one of these and you let that keg sit like in a in your garage for you know a cool garage for a, a month, and then you put that baby on some freaking after you put it on CO2, you let that baby uh, sit on 30 pounds of uh, CO2. I think you're going to you're going to have one hell of a winter here. I really do. I think you you have a winner here with uh, Nikki's Amber because I remember tasting this one. It was pretty virgin, and it uh, it was good then, and it's gotten better. You if you sit if you sit and taste this beer, um, you, you know exactly where I'm coming from with the 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 dark fruits, the raisin, kind of a a dark plum. Uh, you know those. Uh, you know how they. Um, take the plums and they uh, take the water out of them and you can chew on them. I'm getting that in here. The malt profile with this is spectacular. So rating scale. My rates are done uh, 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. Uh, Dan, I think you did a, an awesome job. A little bit more carbonation with this, but it's hit and miss with bottle carbonate, you know, with carbonating in the bottle. Um Conditioning is really came out on top. Um, I'm going to give you a 96, maybe a 99.7 out of 10. So, cool. cool. Okay, right on, man. Cheers. Dude, bring some more, man. I'll, uh, I'll review all your stuff. It's awesome, man. Make a name, man. All right, guys. Remember. Keep rocking, do what you're doing. And I will see you later on the next uh, beer review. Thanks, guys. See you later.